Hello, I'm Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guide to CyberLink Power Director. And here we are in version 15 of Power Director. In version 15, CyberLink has added a couple really cool features. One of my favorites is something called the Mask Designer. And with the Mask Designer, we'll be able to use various shapes as cookie cutters, essentially, and cut our video into any shape we would like. And I'll show you exactly how that works. It's very, very simple. I've just selected a clip on the timeline. When I select a clip on the timeline, you see the function buttons appear along the top of the timeline, including one called Designer. From there, select the Mask Designer. And this is the Mask Designer workspace. Applying the masks is very simple. I simply select from the library of shapes here any shape I want. So if I want to make my video in the shape of a heart, I can select that and now I have a heart shaped video. I can uh, change the position of the mask simply by dragging over it, take, change the size of it by grabbing onto the corners. And you see down here, as I scroll down through the properties, I can also do that type of thing uh, numerically or with sliders rather than simply dragging on the corners. It's whatever you're more comfortable with. You see, I can also set a feather radius. In other words, right now I have a very sharp mask between what's masked and what is not masked. And I can soften that by increasing the feather. So pretty cool. And as with a lot of the designers, there are also motion paths built in here. So if I'd like my mask to move, I can simply select a path. And now suddenly my mask has an animation and it moves over my video. Pretty cool stuff, huh? Let's uh, just set that back to no path and go back here to the mask tab. In addition to the existing library of masks, you can add your own, and that's as simple as selecting load image. So I'm just going to click on that. And here you see all you need to do is provide a simple black and white image. So here I've got a puzzle piece that I created in another program. The areas that I don't want masked are painted white. The masked areas are black, so I'm just going to select that. And when I apply that or load it in and apply it, you see that now my uh, video has been cut into the shape of the puzzle piece. So whatever is white, the program will use as your video shape or your cookie cutter. And then whatever is black around it is the mask. There are some innovative ways to use masked video. I'm just going to close that without saving. And I'll show you one of my favorites is if you overlay a video, one video on top of another video and you cut it into shape, uh, you can add some pretty cool special effects. So I've got this guy, he's just sitting on the front porch thinking about his day, drinking his coffee. And I want him to be daydreaming about the time he went out with his friends for lunch. So I'm going to take this video of the people having lunch together and I'm going to drag that down to video two. And now it overlays that video and I'm going to apply uh, a mask to it. So I'll select the video that's on video two and then go up here and select from the designer function button, the mask designer. And I'm just going to apply a mask in the shape of say a thought bubble. And when I do, you see that it cuts the video into that thought bubble shape. So I'll click OK. And there you can see I now have my video. It is cut into the thought bubble. It's overlaying the video of the man sitting on the porch. And I can also take that video that's on video two and I can resize it. There we go. Now he's got a thought bubble. He's remembering hanging out with his friends and the thought bubble sits above him here, floating above his head. There he is. So you can see uh, some great options for effects you can create using both a picture in picture kind of uh, positioning there, as well as using the mask to cut the video into different shapes. Now, in part two of this tutorial, I'd like to show you one of the cool advanced features in the Mask Designer, the ability to create a mask on the fly uh, using tools built right into the Mask Designer. We'll do that in part two. I'm Steve Rossetti. I hope you'll be back for that.